What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Zach McStash, but you can call me Zach. Hey guys, I want to talk about the DJI, DJI, yeah, RS3 and the RS4. And I want to talk to you guys about why I decided to change from the RS3 Pro over to the basic model of the RS4. There is the RS4 and the, there is the RS4 Pro. I went with the RS4 and there is a big reason why. So before I send the RS3 back, I want to show you guys why I got the RS3 and the RS4. So here is the RS4 right here. And then I have the RS3. Sorry if there's a little bit of mic chatter. I had my chain fly all over that. Uh, maybe I should tuck this guy away. Put that under there for right now. Um, but on the RS3 versus the RS4, let me show you guys why I decided to change on this. There, there is a lot that they put into the RS4 and I still haven't gone through all the features. To be honest, I haven't gone through all the features on the RS3 as well. For me personally, I am a social media shooter. I create a lot of content for social medias and businesses and their social platforms to get them out there a little bit more. We all know in the social media game, social media has been everything lately. So getting this camera, getting started on all this, I have been being more of a social media guy instead of doing long form content. It's been a lot more short form content for me. I'm working on getting more into the long form. I've done a lot of commercials and a lot of smaller things uh, for business. There's a lot of long shots that go into it, but not, I wouldn't say not as much as like doing a podcast or the longer form content. I do use a Sony A47. But let me show you guys real quick. So this is the new RS4 right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this real quick. Oh, we got this bad boy. This is the RS4 right here. And then this is the RS3. So just from the start, the reason I changed was because of the social media shooting. So it has this feature. So you have this release mechanism right here. You undo that and then you press this and this is going to pop off and then you take it and you put it up like boom like that and then you can tighten it back down and then boom you have your camera able to mount vertically. I am filming this on my Sony right now so I don't have a camera to demonstrate but you can see that it's got that versus on the A7 or the A7 III. What am I even talking about? The RS3, uh, we have that long, it doesn't, it's got that long um, platform there for the camera. Hopefully you can see that there in the video, but it's got this long platform versus this small platform. Now price point, you're about $100 apart on these, which is actually super crazy. I paid, I wanna say it was $650 for the RS3 Pro. And then for the RS4, it was actually $750. And that, honestly, for the bump, for the convenience, the, the easy switch back and forth, I think that that's personally more worth it. It's worth it to spend the extra money. These are really, really nice pieces of equipment. They are heavy duty. I can't remember exactly the build that this one comes in, but it's super similar. I would say the RS3 is a little bit heavier. I believe that the arms on this are, they're both made a little bit different than each other. But overall, if you're looking to get into doing the gimbal game, using gimbals, I just have to say that the RS4, and I man, I keep saying that RS3, RS4. But in that, uh, the RS4 is more worth it just for that vertical shooting. But I guess it really depends on what you're using it for and what you're shooting for. And I would like to know, what are you guys shooting it with? What are you using an RS3 or RS4 for? Do you have a gimbal right now? Or are you looking to get one? Um, for me, I had to watch a bunch of videos to decide what I wanted to get. Um, and as soon as I bought the RS3 Pro, I guess I didn't do enough research because when I bought that, then the RS4, uh, had come out, uh, just a couple months prior. So I'm like, oh no, I got to get that thing. So I'm sending my RS3 back. I just wanted to do a quick video, um, and talk about 
just that big key point of why I decided to switch from one to the other. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a huge thing for me. Just that vertical content, getting that, that nice smooth shot. Um, you just can't beat that. So RS3 versus the RS4. RS4 takes the cake for me. Let me know down in the comments though. What are you using? What do you prefer? Are you an RS3 pro? Are you an RS4? Uh, person are you an rs4 pro person but yeah so i just wanted to do a quick little comparison of the two i've gone out and shot with both of them and just while i'm doing run and gun uh, i do do long form content so i do a lot of walkthrough videos for uh companies and doing those walkthroughs a lot of times they'll like little snippets too that you got to flip your camera and get a couple little hey this is that this is this um so just being able to switch the camera really quick, oh, it is so money. So I've super enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. See you guys in the next video.